we have with us uh, Mr. Sudip to Chatterjee, who is one of the most, uh, how do I put it, sir? One of the most uh, celebrated ephemera collectors in Calcutta, uh, in Eastern India, in India itself. Uh, he, his collection is something that people from around the world uh, come to see. Now, he is here today uh, with us in Suleka. Uh, we've been going around the factory and uh, he has come to bless Suleka. Sir, what are your feelings about Suleka? What do you think about Suleka making this comeback after uh, <coughs> being in the dumps for close to 30 years now? <coughs> See, uh, Suleka was a very familiar name in our uh, school days when we were in school. Uh, uh, let me uh, tell you that uh, Chom, uh, Koshik Moitro, MD of Shulaka, our alma mater are the same. Uh, although Chom is one uh, year, he was one year uh, junior to me and Koshik passed, uh, he was uh, I think uh, two to three years a junior to me. Uh, that way our schooling was, uh, we belong to the same school and uh, the name Shulekha, it was a very familiar name in our school days. It reminds me of those bygone days when you, we used to carry the uh, Shulekha ink pot uh, in our school bag. And um, uh, it is a very uh, different feeling altogether coming uh, uh, down to Sh Shulekha factory. Um, and uh, it is very, uh, I, I'm feeling very um, happy uh, to see the factory. Although I stay in a very nearby place uh, in Lake Garage, that is not a far away place. But still it has taken say around uh, um, 35 to 40 years to be associated with Shulekha and Chom. Uh, definitely Shulekha, they are, uh, uh, their brand is still the same. Their bottling, their packaging has changed. They have uh, come out with lot many uh, uh, different types of uh, colors. Like I, I was just uh, uh, having a look. They have come up with uh, turquoise blue. They have come up with saffron um, uh, color and then uh, they are still uh, they have also come up with uh, this um, scarlet red uh, so these type of colors were not available in our school days or when we were in college but it is very nice to see their their, their display is also very nice and uh, so many collectors are uh, what i can feel that many collectors fountain lovers they are very much interested in these kind of inks and uh, I'm also very happy to note that even uh, students from school and uh, students who are in class 11 or 12, the higher secondary students, they are using uh, fountain pens. Uh, that uh, I would uh, rather say that is a very nice uh, gesture on the part of Shuleka, uh, specifically uh, Chom and Koshik. It is a very nice gesture on their part, uh, promoting fountain pens and usage of inks. And definitely uh, these things are what we call nowadays very eco-friendly and fountain pens has got lot many benefits uh, which they can uh, tell you better. But it is a very happy feeling, that's all I can say. So to the, incidentally this ink, this uh, if you see here, uh, if you focus here, you know this comes in four different colours. From the red of global warming, a black carbon emissions to the blue of clean energy that will lead us to the green of sustainability. This comes in four colors. What we are trying to say is that black is about uh, your carbon footprint. Red is about global warming. To stop this, you need clean energy which is depicted by blue. And the ultimate aim of mankind, of all of us, should be to reach towards a green future, a sustainable future. And this is what is Sulekha's message uh, from uh, the, that we are trying to convey, especially to the students. Uh, if you say Def uh, de uh, definitely, I would I would like to say that this is a uh, very really it is a commendable endeavor on the part of Chom Ink Happiness or so whatever we say and uh, Shuleka that is uh, Koshik Moitro. Definitely, it is a commendable endeavor. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you.